Welcome to the Fuel Podcast, where we explore the foundations under extraordinary lives. The Fuel Podcast is sponsored by the Christopher Schwartz team at First Choice Mortgage Advisors. NMLS ID 106583. If you're looking to purchase or refinance your mortgage, make the Christopher Schwartz team at First Choice Mortgage your first choice. And now, here is your host, Chris Schwartz. What's up, everybody? It's your host of Fuel, Chris Schwartz, and we are here today with our guest and the behind-the-scenes producer of Fuel, Gene Volpe. What's up, Gene? What's up, Chris? How are you, man? I'm doing well, man. We're here. We're another year, 2020. Another year. I'm excited about this episode. Uh, this is a... I, I kicked off the first episode. Yep. Right? I was the... What would you call me? The inaugural, inaugural. guest on Fuel, and... Now we're here doing behind the scenes. We're we're at the twenty four hundred one Walnut yep. today, where we're visiting with a with our next guest. Yep. Right. Who I won't say anything. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to. Keep, yeah, keep that under wraps for now. Um, but we're down here. We're getting ready to go. But we thought we wanted to do a year in review, and I think this is a good opportunity to talk about what you have planned for the show moving forward. Um, what you have planned for? Uh, listen, these fuel hats. If you're watching the video on YouTube, no, check see, it out. Yeah, check those things out. I have one. It's my favorite one. I have that one you're showing, the gray one. Yep. I see the new Sixers colors. They got them all. I you got, got the, Tell me what you have. We got Sixers, Flyers. We got the Eagles. We got the black, the white. So, uh, yeah, that's it's funny. You know, as, as talking about a year in review, it was just a silly idea. And I'm a hat guy, and, and I know you are as well. So it was just a silly idea. Hey, let's order some hats. And, man, people are like, how do I get the hat? How do I get the hat? And they're, they're a good looking piece, dude. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm really picky when it comes to my hat because I got an oddly shaped head, right? And I don't really, I don't rock them too often because I'm very picky. Yeah. And right. these, this is one of the ones where I put it on. I was like, yeah, dude, I'll wear this, and I wear it all the time. Yeah, and that's, that's same thing here. I, you know, I'm I'm a hat guy, so I'm really picky. You know, it, it's weird if you wear hats, you know, and you can't just grab a hat, dude. Like it's gotta be, it's you gotta. It's got to look right. Right. Um, so I put a little thought into it. I didn't want to get the cheapest, you know, giveaway hat out there. And uh, anyway, so I want to get too, too far in the hats, but but people are, are loving the hats. Well, so we, so wait, hold on. We got we, we won't get too far into the hats, but they're a big hot commodity. And soon, you know, I, if I if I could get off my snide, and I did, we got, we're going to prove them today, I think. But we're, we got T-shirts coming. Yep. Especially yeah. for the ladies. Yep, absolutely. Right. So 2020, that's what we're talking about. What's new, what we got going on. So we'll have the T-shirts coming out. And all kinds of different ways you guys can, can grab them, and we'll talk about that later on in the show. We can talk about it now and then regroup later if you want. I'll <laughs> leave it up to you. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep them in suspense. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. So you got to listen to the whole show to get to the end, and then we'll tell you then how we'll tell you, you get your own fuel hat or fuel shirt. Yep. Makes exactly. sense? Exactly. I think that's a fair trade. Yeah. You can't just give away the goods in the beginning, Gene. Come no, on. You're right. I, I always That's part of my problem, I think. I do that too <laughs> I do that too often, and then I, I'm standing holding the bag at the end wondering why I didn't get anything out of it. But yeah, I, yeah you're, you're smart. You're smart. Smarter than I am, for sure. All right. So let's, let's jump in. So one of the things that I want to get to, that we will get to eventually, is we've compiled a list. So when if you listen to the show, you know that part of what we do is rapid fire. And there's three questions at the end uh, of each show where we put the guest on the spot a little bit, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've done rapid fire. I I don't think I have. We I've might actually do that today. Actually, all right. Yeah, sure. You know, I've actually had a couple of people saying, "Hey, you know, did you? Wh- where's your fuel story interview? Did you do? Did you do an episode?" Uh, so we, 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 we could save it. We could save it for that. Let's or you, save it. I think, uh, I think that's a good move. That's, uh, let's save it. And then, but uh, yeah, so there's, there's a couple of people out there that, that think that, you know, I'm, I'm talking all this stuff, pushing the fuel story, but I don't have my fuel story. Yeah. So that's how stupid I am. I never even thought about that. Hey, we we have know, to do that. Yeah. So, so we'll, you, you can save your rapid fire for that. Okay. But, I but, think that's fair because that'll allow me to give it, to get more time to make you a little uncomfortable. Perfect. So we'll we'll come up with some different questions that are tailor made specifically for you. Perfect. So you cuz cuz typically with the with the rapid fire, the guests don't know what we're going to ask them. Yeah, that's the whole point, rapid fire, right? right? So now that you've done it 20 times, I'm going to switch it up. Uh, all right. All right, so stay tuned for that. That's actually interesting. That might be a fun episode. And by might, I mean it's certainly going to be a fun episode. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I was going to say we have as as we've done this, we've compiled a list of books, and I think we'll get into this in a little bit because I want to kind of go through some of the other highlights of the year first. But 
a book review. So the year in re- the year in review a la book. So in other words, for each guest, you you basically made them to tell you what book would they take with them on an island. So we have a really good list of books. And actually, I think would be a fun exercise. Maybe, maybe it won't be. I want to see how many of these you've read. Yeah. And what's next on your list. So we're going to do that. But first, let's talk about, you know, from Tom Tool to Cheryl Kalalori at the Headstrong Foundation um, to the lunch that we did, you and I, a couple yeah. of weeks back right before Christmas, which was awesome. Yeah. I feel like a lot of this stuff, you know, the Tom Tool thing, you, you, you ride Peloton. And right. And you and Tom have become kind of riding buddies. Virtual sure, virtual, buddies, right? right? <laughs> yeah. Right. But I, but I see a lot on on Facebook, you guys kind of poking at each other and giving each other a little bit of pat on the ass and all that stuff. Tell me a little bit about that, how that kind of, that thing came about. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, that was really just, you know, a lot of the guests through, through Fuel. And Tom and I kind of connected a little bit before uh, Fuel. And, you know, we've developed and, you know, this kind of friendship. And, you know, part of the things, um, the nice thing about Fuel is, you know, really meeting with people. Uh, that that share a common thread and that that common thread is just you know they want to take things to the next level and that's could be their physical fitness could be their life could be their relationship so it's really cool for me to be able to connect with all these people through fuel uh, that you know on some level I have something in common with right off the bat Uh, and Tom was just one of those things with with the Peloton and um, you know, he's, he's way better than I am. I mean, Oh, is that right? Oh is he my good? God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, so I thought I was going to kick Tom's ass, you know, the first time I'm like, Oh yeah, you know, I got my bike. I've been riding for about a year. I did no research on Tom okay. and his Peloton skills. So he seems like he's one of those guys that goes into a zone and you got to hit him with a brick uh, to get dude, out of it. Dude, he rides like every day. He's like 700 rides probably by now into this thing. And, okay. um, you know, so we jumped on and, uh, you know, he mopped the floor with me. You oh, know, really? Yeah, 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 you know. Thankfully, he never asked me. You know, I told him, hey, you know, we'll jump on tomorrow and I'll, I will do this ride and loser buys beers. Uh, you know, he never hit me up for those beers. So I, I, I lucked out um, <laughs> because he definitely. Well, then I hope he's not listening to this. Episode. Yeah, right. Well, hopefully he is. So, Tom, <laughs> you know, let's go. But, um, you know, that's that, only fair. Um, so yeah, I mean, just it's, it's really cool. And, and that, you know, also ties into to Cheryl. Um, Cheryl Calalori with the Headstrong Foundation. Yep. You know, we she came on Fuel. Um, we reconnected, and now you know I'm helping out with Headstrong. I'm gonna uh, I'm on the committee to um, help with sponsors for their Limelight Gala, and you know, so if you want to get involved with that, we're looking for business owners or or anyone really that that wants to sponsor uh, the event. It's an awesome event. Uh, you can reach out to me, uh, show at thefuelstory.com yep. and uh, I can get you all the details on that and we'll put it in the we'll put a link to that I think Gene in the in the show notes and yeah, on the absolutely, website absolutely. Um, so if you want to get involved there so um, it, it's really opened up some doors for me uh, on a personal level you know not just the, the business level but on a personal level to, to do some cool things and then that's been really one of the most um, kind of unexpected things with with fuel so far and um, I'm looking, just looking forward to what this year has to bring as well. Yeah. So just to go through, if you haven't really listened to that episode with Cheryl, that's a, a, it was a, about her son um, who, who passed away from from cancer, right? Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I was 2000. trying to think of what do you remember what kind it was. I forget actually off the top of my head. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Top but of my head. well, we can go back and look at. It. I mean, it's, I think it's Headstrong.org was the site. Yep. Just Google Cheryl and go back if you're really interested. Go back to episode eight. It was pretty, that was like the only episode where we didn't really do a rapid fire because of how emotional it was. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, no, that was definitely um, a really emotional episode for, for both of us. And, and me um, too, you couldn't see me luckily, I was behind the screen, you couldn't see me, but it yeah. was wild. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely, you know, um, I mean, Cheryl's been, you know, she's been at it for quite some time with the Headstrong Foundation, Nick passed in 2005, and you know, she's been, you know, carrying out his vision of you know, what this is, you know, since then. So you would think here we are 2019, no, 2020 now, but we were 2019 when we did that. Um, you, you know, I, I wasn't really expecting the emotions to be there and to be so raw. Right. And, and it was, you know, and it was. So that, yeah, that was a powerful episode. Uh, really, really got me and, you know, um, I'm sure you as well. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so but, that was, go back to episode eight. Um, and actually, let's do it in this order. Go back to episode eight. 
then come back to the YouTube video that we're doing on this or the videos on online, click the link to email you and get on board to be a sponsor with it. Yeah, right? well, I'll just throw, I'll just throw the, yeah, absolutely. We'll throw the sponsorship form on the, on the site. Okay, perfect. Good, good, good. And then just to kind of not, not take anything from Tom, the Tom Tool episode was episode nine. So get out to Apple Podcasts and take a look at those. So let's go through some of these, some of these characters because we have interviewed, I say we, I've been there for all of them, but you have interviewed some some characters. Let's go back to episode six, Tom DiVietro. Yeah, you Tom. and him have a history. Yeah, yeah. So Tom, and you know, we go back. Uh, geez, I don't know, five or six years. No, I get well, I don't know, probably seven or eight years now. Times <laughs> seems to move a little faster than my mind thinks it it's does. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, so it was fun to to bring Tom on because I originally met Tom and uh, you know joined his uh, new gym at the time. There, he kind of opened up a CrossFit gym, and I uh, was just getting started. We ended up becoming friendly, uh, and he was, you know, looking to buy a house but not quite ready. I, I had just bought a house, had too much space. So here we are, you know, Tom moves in, and, and uh, he and Megan kind of, you know, moved in with me uh, prior to them buying their house. And it was a fun little uh, year or so of uh, just getting to know each other and then, now Tom's out there, you know, doing his thing with um, the gym that he, that he has now and the, the Thomas DeVitro Strength and Conditioning Programs. Uh, he's got the gym. It's called the Ready Room over in Morton. Uh, he's got a couple other locations, too, that he's partnered with. Um, so just to see Tom, you know, kind of grow as, as a person and then to be able to just kind of sit, sit here on this show and, and kind of shoot the shit with him, and <laughs> it, was, it was pretty cool. And, you know, he's he's got a, he's got a really – amazing story as well you know having being army ranger um you know kind of gone through that whole process and, and the training mentally and physically that goes with that uh also another episode that got you know started out pretty fun and light and and you know got a little emotional with did. talk tom talking about you know his fuel and and family and you know the, losing his mother while he was deployed um so that was a fun one as well yeah definitely go back and check that out i mean yeah. all, all of them you know i mean I'm not, we're not gonna have time to run through everyone so no, we don't want to sure. take anything away from anybody if we, if we don't give a shout out here but all of them were just you know there was so much you know value uh to our listeners and both to, to me selfishly right <laughs> so well, yeah, uh, you know sure. I, I got a lot of fuel to uh to use the word there and uh it really just so many so many awesome guests and you know when you start out you and I, uh, probably over a beer. I don't know. Most likely over beer. Hey, mm-hmm. you know, do this. Actually, it was over coffee. To be honest, it was that, really? Yeah, it was that bur- burlap old. and bean. We're getting old. Yeah, I think you're right. That's a yeah. long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh so, kind of threw this idea at you, and uh, and, and we were uh, just sitting there, and hey, want to start a podcast? What do you think? Started spitballing ideas. And you, uh, you, you know, being you, what you do, you're like, well, okay, you know, when do you want to start? I, this is what I do for a living, yep. so let's go. And we, we, you know, mapped it out, had a loose idea, vision of what we wanted to do, and here we are, you know, a little bit after this, we'll shoot episode 15, and I'm just blown away by the caliber of the people and the stories that they've shared. It's I crazy. Mean, right? And, like, and also, too, if you think about it, it's not the stories they're giving us are not stories you would typically typically get from them in your daily course of action or interaction with them. Like, it's not like, you know, so let's say episode five, Sky Michaels. It, you're not going to sit at a bar somewhere and go through that with him or you're not going to sit at a closing with him. So you do the mortgage, he does the, the seller or the buyer, let's say, in that case. You're probably not having that conversation at the table, right? This is right. something no, this where is you like have to behind the him. scenes, yeah. you know, really getting to know who people are. Yep. Um, who, you know, and, and what drives them. And this is the point in fuel is, uh, you know, a, lo- a lot of us know these people and, you know, but we don't know the behind the scenes, the, the fuel story, right? You don't know what drives them. And that's, that's what we do, man. That's what's been awesome about this is, you know, I've had people come to me and say, man, I've, I've known that guy my whole life. Never knew that. Right. He's, he's my, you know, one of my best friends. Never, never told him like, I don't know, man. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's crazy, and it's funny that like when you get people behind a microphone, how they break down. Like I think Jonathan Fink's interview was great, where he talked about his son who was autistic. Yep. And he talked about his love of the cello, which was interesting. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, right. And he's he plays with who? Philly Pops. Philly Pops and the uh, Harrisburg Symphony Orf- Orchestra, I believe. And he flies planes. Like, yeah, he found out a lot about that dude in in thirty two minutes. Right. Right. Yeah. 
it was pretty wild. All the charity he does. All right, so here's, I, I'm just thinking this as we're doing this. Let's, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to do two questions. This is going to be a sort of rapid fire. All right. And you're going to get in trouble for this at one point or another. I guarantee it. I'm going to go through each guest. I'm going to give them, I'm going to tell you a name. And I want you to give me the first word that comes to your mind about that, about that guest or that interview. Okay. You, think you pull that off? I think I pulled off. All right. Um, so I'm going to go backwards. Jonathan Fink. One word, humble. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going. You don't have to get into it. Yeah, Nate yeah. Bailey. Coach Nate Bailey, episode 13, Nate Bailey. Beast. Yeah, he was. that was crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, and, right. And, and to think that he was training with somebody that was doing five or six times what he was doing, some female that he was talking about. Right, Remember right. that? He, she ran four 240-mile races or something? It was, it was ridiculous. ridiculous. <laughs> um, episode 12, Tracy Ashdale. Determined. I mean, okay. she's... That was that was a good interview too, actually. Yeah. Uh, and here's here's one. This is sort of not fair because he's your buddy, Tony Saloon. Tony? Oh, uh, yeah. To, <laughs> that is not fair because he's my buddy. But uh, actually, yeah. probably makes it a little bit harder. Yeah. No. It's. I mean, Tony is just genuine. Genuine. He's, that's a good one. He is. He is actually a genuine dude. I use his mug all the time. Live yeah. Love Media. Yeah. 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 So I have go. that all the time. I use it. Okay. Ready? Here's one. Satema. Satema, powerful. I mean, yeah, just, that's a good one. And he does look. I was listening yeah. to it again the other night where he said he he wants to be stuck on a, on an island with Kevin Hart. Yeah, he yeah. Does look, he, he, like he, yeah, like yeah. yeah. He does look. The Rock? Yeah, like The Rock. Yeah, it's pretty funny, actually. Yeah. He, uh, episode 9, Tom Tool. I mean, that's Peloton, right? Okay. That's, right. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Uh, episode 8, Cheryl Kalaluri. I mean, we talked about that already. He's, you know, powerful, emotional. Yeah, that I mean, was a, that was a that was a good one. You got to go back if you're going to listen to any of them. Go back to that one and start with that one there. Episode seven. This is going to be interesting. Ryan Stackhouse. Freedom. I was man. thinking Nomad is the one I was. Yeah, thinking about, dude. Right? Ryan's living the dream, man. He's actually in Aruba right now. He's been there for like two weeks or something. Is and, he really? Oh yeah. He's 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 never anywhere. Well, wasn't for he long. traveling in a bus? Like yeah, the, yeah. That's so they're doing the, they're doing the states. Um, you know, they Airbnb Airbnb their house and they're just traveling the country and the world. I mean, they Airbnb their primary residence. Airbnb locked all their stuff down the basement, put a deadbolt on, bought a um, you know RV and who's managing the house? Do you have any idea? They got a company. Company. Doing it yeah, he lives in Nashville. Okay. Um, so you know he's, he's got a company handling it and he's doing commercial real estate deals from anywhere. You know That's he can incredible. get a Wi-Fi signal. So what he's a, in Aruba right now. What shout a great out. world we're in. Yeah, shout out. Why, yeah. Maybe we should go down there and interview him in Aruba. What do you yeah, think? yeah. All okay. expenses paid. Uh, compliments yeah. at Ryan. Stackhouse. Ryan, call us if that's interesting to you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, episode six. Tom Dvhro. Uh, Tom Strength. I okay. mean, you know, for that's sure. fair. Yeah, yeah. Episode five. Sky Michaels. Leader. I mean, leader, leader. Yeah. yeah. Sky is just, um, I mean, he's doing big things with Compass and he's, you know, starting something, um, new with a, in a market, you know, in a big market, established market, um, with what he's doing with Compass. He's bringing a lot of talent over there. So I'm going to say leader. Cool. Yeah. Sky's a good dude. Episode four, Jake Dreyfus. Jake, Jake is, oh man, he's, he's, he's another one. I, you know, put Jake, uh, Jake is, He's just inspiration, dude. Jake is an, he's an inspiring individual, man. He's always positive, always upbeat, always smiling. So that that was a fun one. That's too. a good one. These last three are going to be interesting. Episode three, Dan Levins. Dan, oh Dan is. I mean, that was. Uh, I mean, Dan's a, a friend as well, so right. that one's kind of hard. I mean, I, well, initially you... initially wanted to say thinker because that's good. You know, Dan is always. You know, he's always has ideas and he's always just he's a thought leader and he, and he provokes he makes you think so and, that's and almost, actually shout out to dan because a lot of the episodes he's given uh, he's given us the ability to use the proof yep. his his studio over there which he put together and holds events at so if you're interested i believe it's the proof.com right i uh, we'll, we'll check and we'll put it in the show notes okay, for sure okay. but i don't want to send anybody to the wrong site yeah right get so, in trouble and we'll search for him he's l-i-e-v-e-n-s right dan yep. Um, on, you'll find him on Facebook. I know you can find the proof on Facebook and you'll see his picture right there. Yep. So check that out. So shout out to Dan for giving us probably probably fi about 50% of our episodes are shot there, right? Yeah, give take? probably, give or take. Yeah. Sure. Um, this was an interesting one, Carl White. Carl, I mean, it, for me, Carl, I mean, Carl's coach, you know, he's, uh, you know, runs the Freedom Club, the Mortgage Marketing Animals. He's, uh, you know, established a, the largest, one of the largest, coaching program and training programs for mortgage loan officers in the country so i'm gonna throw that there all right this is where you're gonna get in trouble yours truly episode one gene volpe no oh, dude that's easy 
producer. Okay, fair enough. That was, <laughs> that was a cop out, but I'll take it. Friend, it producer. It could have been way worse. Than yeah, that. yeah, totally, man. So I, listen, I got to give you a lot of credit. We went through fifteen up, fourteen, fifteen episodes there, and I don't think you used the same description twice. No, man. It I, everybody is you know. There's a common thread. I think when you look at people that that you know are successful in life. Uh, you know, they do a lot of things, you know, similar, but that's the beauty of fuel. Everybody's story is different and I can boom, fire a, a word at you for every one of those guests. That's completely different. And uh, that's what's without has for the most part, without hesitation, other wild. than, other than the fact that I maybe hesitate because I, there were two or three words that came to mind. Of course. Um, so yeah, man, especially with the ones, you know, the best. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, so, so that's interesting. So uh, that was really good. Um, I am going to ask you this question in a couple minutes, but I'm going to put it out there now because I want to give you time to reflect on it a little bit. Sure. Cause this is, this is going to be a tough one where if I put you on the spot, it's going to be hard to answer right away. I think, but if there was one or two moments that stood out to you that maybe really captured your attention, grabbed at your heartstrings, made you laugh, uh, and one or two moments throughout the taping that really stand out to you in review. And so we, unless you know right now, I'm going to go to the books and we'll come back to that. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, I can probably, you know, just, just fire off. I mean, we, you know, we keep talking about it. But, you know, I mean, Tracy's uh, or uh, Cheryl's episode. Yeah. Um, with, you know, headstrong and talking about Nick and, and that whole thing was way more than I expected that day. Yeah. Uh, so that was one. And then, um, Tracy, uh, Tracy Ashdale, uh, it was cool to sit down with her because I got to make this connection because our daughter had gone through Tracy's, uh, girls on the run program. Right. And, um, so it was, it was cool to, to sit down with Tracy and hear her passion for, the organization and what she's doing and having been on the other side and been impacted by that. Um, that was kind of, that was fun for me. Cool. And I mean, dude, there's so many I could, I could run through again without hesitation, like each episode, it really, there was, there was something from, from almost all of them. Well, that, that's good. I mean, yeah, that, that like, by itself is pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, there, there, it was, you know, there's so many things. That's, well, that's, that's good. So I, mean, I implore you to go back and listen to these things and shoot Chris a private message or like, like we said at the beginning, hit us at show at the fuel um, We're going to say this at the end too. Um, if you know somebody that wants to be on it or that should be on it, that has a crazy story, make sure you reach out to us again, fi find me on social media, find Chris on social media. It doesn't, it's easy to get to us or sure. just shoot us a message at show at the fuel .com. We'll wrap up with that. Yep. Um, um, but before we close this out, we talked a little bit about how to get your hat and shirt. Be a guest. That's the easiest way to do it. Right. Um, are we going to talk about reviews? You want to give them a, you want to yeah. give them another way to get the shirts? Yeah, right, we'll sure. Hats. Stick with the hats. All right. Yeah, we'll stick. We'll stick with the hats. Um, so yeah, if you if you want to check us out on iTunes and leave us a five star review, and then what I'm going to ask you to do, you know, and leave a comment in there. Yeah, yeah. we want to we want to hear what what you really got out of this. And Gene, like Gene mentioned, you know, it's easy to find us. I mean, you can hit me up on my personal Facebook, you know, and just, you know, drop me a message there, inbox, post, on, and let me know what you got. We're, we're talking about the year in review. Go back and listen to an episode. If, you, if you've already listened to, to, you know, the episodes, then make sure you go in and leave a comment and a five-star review. And, uh, you know, I'll throw it out there to the first five people first five? Okay. Yeah, to All do right. that. And, and we've got a couple, um, you know, we got the black ones, the white ones, uh, the Philly sports teams. We'll see. They're a little bit, uh, more limited. I don't have too many, but you get, we'll get you the official black or white one. Um, so go ahead and leave us a review and really share what you got out of the episode. I mean, that's, that's what I want to impress upon everybody. So you leave a five star review on iTunes. Let me know what you got out of it. And um, first five people to do that will get you out of hat. Well, that's very generous of you. I like that. Yeah. Um, and keep your eyes open on on the uh, our pages and everything, and on the fuelstory.com for future giveaways. When the shirts come out, we'll take some pictures of those and put them up. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe there's a business in this. Maybe we can start selling some gear off too. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, maybe we can make some money off fuel. That'd be funny. It's a great <laughs> logo. I mean, if you, go, if you haven't seen it, go on to the YouTube channel and look at the video and I'm holding the hat up right now. One of, one of the ones is so the gray one with the black detail on it. So check that out. That's the, that's actually the one I'm rocking. Um, okay. So we promised we were going to do this. Let's go through this real quick. I'm just going to give the book and the 
the person, the guest who gave us that book. And then I want you to tell me, have you read it? Yeah. Uh, and if you have, what do you, what did you think about it real quick? So the first one was mine, The Secret. Yeah. So The, the Secret, uh, I'm not going to lie. I, you, I cheated. You, know, I saw, you watched I, the video. Yeah, I watched the video. Most saw, people do. Saw, saw the movie. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that that's a great... I don't know. Kind of, I remember when it came out like it was yesterday, but do I call it a classic now? I mean, but yeah, it's, it's probably that old, right? Yeah. So, you know, and that's just, you know, the laws of the universe, you know, what you put out there comes back to you. I think that was kind of my biggest takeaway from that one. You know, it's like the, the law of attraction, right? That's and we try to whole, live that every day, right? Yeah. yeah. Try. And it, it, you know, it's, it's, you know, definitely, um, something that you guys should check out. Uh, and it's not easy to do, right? It's, stuff happens. You get pissed off and you get a parking ticket when you, you know, what, get out of here. Right, as I am right now, probably. Right. <laughs> so, uh, I see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man. And I don't know if, we, we, you know, we can kind of run through them. I don't know what our timeline is, but if you want to run through all of them. Yeah, or... we got it. We still have a couple of minutes. So uh, uh, we'll go through some of them. I mean, I don't think you read the Quran. Uh, you would be correct. That was, uh, that's no, Dan Levin. That's Dan deep. Levins. And, uh, you know, definitely not something I read. That's a, but, that's a wild book. I mean, yeah, I don't I've, mean I've in heard. In a negative way. No, no. I, I have heard that it is a powerful book. And I mean, obviously, it's a powerful book. Yeah, right. Um, but, uh, you know, it's um, probably my attention span and me getting through the Quran is just, this would be, you know, it's a non-starter. Yeah. It's I'm, a non-starter. I'm with you. I would never get through it myself. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, I tend to read like in the same genre and you know, I, I, I wish I was a little more broad. I mean, like you're probably like me, right? They're self-help. Business exactly. Books, yeah. You know? Like I'm, I'm not, you know, I, getting into, you know, sci-fi or like right. anything. I wish I could. I'm kind 50 of, shades of gray. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah no. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, so, you know, I, I did read that. No. Well, wait, I, I'm not, listen, I'm, no. I'm going to leave it right there. But in, no, along man. those lines, I'm sure I can tell you that you did read Think and Grow Rich. Absolutely. That right? was Tom DiVietro's yep. um, uh, uh, gift to us. Yeah. And I would, I'm guessing you probably read Tony Saloom's entry of How to Win Friends and Influence People. Yeah, that's a great book. Yep. Okay. So yep. those yep. Are yeah, you could probably go through here with my simple mind and pick what books I've read. Yeah, because I'm, all, I'm the same. Like, I ha did you had did you read Jake Dreyfus's? Um, example of daring greatly? No. So I, there were there were quite a few on here that are right in my wheelhouse um, that I that are on my list, um, and you know, so I haven't got to that one yet. Um, How about M R E A or the Millionaire Real Estate Agent? Carl White gave us that one. That's a yeah, no, from Gary Keller. Yeah, and I actually haven't read that one either. So I know a lot. I know a lot of people. Oddly enough, we are sitting inside of a Keller Williams office right now, but. I know a lot of people who've read that, and the ones that read it and apply it actually always say good things about it. So, yeah. How, how about um, did you read Outwitting the Devil? I did, and that's a that's another Napoleon Hill. I think. Yes, I believe uh, you're right. Uh, and everybody knows Napoleon Hill from Think and Grow Rich, and I think that's how Tom intended to uh, what in Tom intended to read, and he ended up getting this Outwitting the Devil, and he loved and it, and he, and he loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So, nope, no, haven't read that one. How about um, Tom Tools was the subtle art of not giving an F? Yes, you read that one. Uh, yes, yeah, so I did. I picked that up on audio um, a little bit after we we did our interview with Tom. And oh, nice. Uh, yeah, that was a good one. Uh, That's definitely. more of a quick read, right? Yeah, quick, easy. You know, uh, but. You know, all these books are powerful, and that's you know really when you go onto our site, we'll. we'll you know, maybe you sign up for our mailing list, keep, 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 keep in touch. And we're going to try to get this list out to you because, you know, as Gene and I are saying, certain books are going to be, you know, in, in my wheelhouse and just stuff that I gravitate to. Uh, and, and some of them are not. So we want to hopefully have, uh, you know, enough diversity here that you can go through this book list and pick a book uh, or, or a handful of books and, and really get some value out of it because that's really the point here in, in fuel and I don't know, you know, how much time we, ha we have left, but one of the things I want to talk about is, you know, um, really, you know, where we're heading in 2020 yeah. and, and what we're thinking about doing, uh, some ideas that we've had. So, um, you know, we can talk about that now. Let's or, do that right now. So yeah. sign up, go to the, go to the fuel story.com, sign up for the newsletter. We'll shoot out the list of books with their authors and where to find them. Perfect. About that. All right. Yep. All right. So then let's just wrap it with this. Uh, we, you wanted to talk about what you, what's next and what do we have uh, planned for 2020? Yeah. So 2020, we want to have, we would just want to keep bringing you more of the fuel stories. 
We want to make sure that we're, we're getting quality people on here that have a great story. So if you know someone, as Gene said earlier, you know, reach out, hit us up on social and, um, you know, get them in touch with us. Let's get some, some really good guests on here. Cause what we want to do for 2020, uh, it's real simple. We want to add value to people's lives, Gene. Makes sense to me. Yep. And I want to do that. Um, we're going to start to push our guest. We've had some really amazing people on here yep. uh, that might be able to help people with things that they're either struggling with or working through or just trying to do in, in their life. And so I'm going to try to get a little bit more mileage out of our guests here and see if we can't, you know, get them to, to give you a little something, you know, get, nice. get, you know, something that, that they're an expert at that they can share with our listeners so that if you're part of our community, uh, you're going to be able to tap into this and, and, and really get some resources to help you grow. And that's kind of the biggest thing we want to do for 2020 is take it to the next level and add value to people's lives. We're going to fuel your growth. Perfect. I like it. I like it. That's why you're here. Oh, that's all I have. (laughs) I'm spent right now. I'm I'm, I'm done. But uh, so real quick, if you're interested in what he just said, just get on the mailing list. There's not going to be any open solicitation. We're not going to come knocking at your door. No. Sign up. And right as of right now, we're not really sending out a ton of emails at all. No. So you'll get notified of new episodes that drop. You'll get the list of books when we give it to you. And then when this new 2020 thing that Chris just described comes out, you will be the first to be on board for this this uh i mean there's some if you go back through the list of those people i can't even this is going to be a smorgasbord like a buffet of things that these people are going to be able to give to you yeah and i'm just going to you know hit them up for one little thing a tool a tip a training uh technique a program whatever it is you know and it's you know not going to cost anything for our listeners it's going to be because you're part of you know the fuel community you can you know hit these people up i love it because they they have they're they're great people and they have you know amazing stories and really great things that they can share to make a difference. So we're going to really take it, take it up a notch in 2020. Oh, I love it. So get out there to the fuel story.com. If you want to get your hat or you got to be one of the first three people to listen to this, get out there and five star review and a nice little nugget on there. Right. Gene, Types. you're, you're tough. We said five. You already cut, oh, five? you already cut, you already cut it to three. While we were sitting here, two are gone. Yeah. Maybe, or maybe I'm taking two. Who knows? Right. Uh, we'll get it to five. Does we'll my win. review count? Am I yeah. not a thrower? Review yeah. Cool. yeah. All right. So, well, listen, I want to tell you, I think this was the beginning of a wonderful ride. I thank you for allowing me to be a part of it in 2019 and I'm excited to be with you in 2020. So. Yeah, man, I'm excited too. I can't thank you enough for for helping me take this, you know, this vision and, and making it a reality. And I'm excited for 2020, man. Thanks for for you know being a part of it. Yeah, man, it's good. It's good to be with you. So wrap this baby up, man. Yeah, man. So all right, you guys, if you're listening, we ask a couple things from you. If you got some value out of it, we want you to share it on social. Wherever that is nowadays, I don't know. I'm learning about this new TikTok, you know, with my oh, with yeah. our kids. But yep. anyway, <laughs> share it on social wherever that is. Check it out on iTunes. Give us a five star rating and uh, make sure you like it. And on that note, we're out. 2020. Here we are. <laughs>